I mean, you just mentioned Jews yourself. You, you and I are both academics. There are a lot of Jews in the, in the academy. The academy is uh, rotten with the very wokeness that you're condemning. Am I going to blame the Jews for that? Well, yes. I, I bl I'm Jewish. I blame the Jews for that. She said it, I mean, everybody. She said it. I didn't. Jews okay. Have <laughs> their power. They have abused their prominence, abused their power, and abused their uh, dominance in the academy, uh, in my mind. But, but and, I don't attribute you know, it to their Jewishness. I, I would attribute it to the, the logic of the institutional dynamic in which they are embedded the academy, which has its flaws, of which the susceptibility to this kind of postmodern relativism and this obsession about identity is one. And so those who happen to be in the academy, I find disproportionately are adherents of this ideology, which I abhor, but not because they're Jews, likewise, not because they're from India. The oh, see, I, I disagree with you. I think but it's I not admirable. Like it's not admirable. But and, I don't want to blame it, the fact that these people are immigrants on this. As I say, well, what about the Jews? I mean, uh, it, it, and if I were to set out and say, look, the academy is rife with these Jewish people who are all on the left and who are all these, uh, you know, sort of closet uh, socialists. Uh, and darn it, you know, I mean, Ellis Island was a good thing, you know, but one consequence for American democracy is that it has dumped all these Jews on us who are so susceptible to to left. Come on, Amy. That's anti-Semitism. At least, no, it that's isn't. That's what they, no, they that's what they taught me in Chicago. That that was. I, okay. <laughs> well, I don't, I, I'm part company with people who say that that kind of criticism of Jews and Jews, you know, outsize influence is anti-Semitism, and I realize that I'm in the minority on that. But Glenn, you know, because you're okay. a realist, yeah, and you're you're uh, intellectually honest. That even though, quote unquote, conformity is universal, which is a very unhelpful statement because, you know, it doesn't tell you how universal it is and how it parses out in different cultures, that cultures differ. The propensities in some cultures for behavior X, right, is greater than in other cultures. So even though you can find conformists everywhere... It is entirely possible that you find more of a leaning towards uh, conformity in some places than others, in some cultures than others, more of a concern with rights and liberty and independence in some cultures than others. And, you know, these differences exist. Okay. These differences absolutely exist. And we're not blaming, you know, to use the word blaming, I think, is pandemic. Okay, okay. It's one thing to I, describe. I it's another thing to assign fault. I, I agree with that. You know, Jews are attracted to and they have the capability to enter into the intelligentsia and be a part of academic communities. They are highly present and dominant in academic communities. And... You know, we have the university today in its abject state. Uh, we have a lot of Jews still in the universities and put the two together. And I think Jews have a lot to answer for it just numerically, just through their predominance. And of course, their their susceptibility to these idealistic pie in the sky socialist ideas uh, which, you know, I don't share that vulnerability, so I'm mystified by it, but uh, there it is. That's descriptively accurate. Well, you now, I don't, you know, the hatred of Jews, the kind of obsessional anti-Semitism that you see in, in tiny pockets on the right, and let's not exaggerate how many people are like this, because it, it's very few, okay? That is... You know, that I reject. You, you see no connection between the, this thing that you just got through rejecting, which is on the fringe, and the statement that you just made, the stereotyping uh, categorization of Jews that you just, and you are Jewish yourself, it should be noted. But I'm totally Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know this from the inside out. Believe me. Uh, I see it. These are the people that uh, raised me. These are the people that I grew up with. I, I get it. Okay. But there's nothing wrong with stereotyping. When stereotyping is understood correctly, number one, we know it's not about every person. So let's not be disingenuous about it. When people say, oh, stereotyping is awful. They say, well, only if you attribute a particular quality or a particular propensity or trait 
to every single person in the group. But you know, that's a straw man. Nobody's doing that. Okay. Um, they're saying there are these tendencies, these leanings. There are more people like this in this group than maybe in other groups. Um, and, you know, so Jews are in the academy. They are, once again, they're spearheading wokeness. They're embracing it, uh, especially Jewish women. Heaven forfend.